Congress MP Karthi Chidambaram was present inside the Lok Sabha when this uh, incident actually happened. Let me go straight to him. Uh, Mr. Chidambaram, what exactly did you see and what happened? See, zero hour was going on. Uh, Mr. Rajendra Agarwal was in the chair. I was awaiting my turn to speak. Heard a loud thud to the left, uh, to, to the left side of where I was sitting, and straight to where the speaker's chair was. My initial reaction was that I thought that somebody had tipped over from the visitors' gallery and fallen down. But then, when I saw the person running and there was a lot of commotion, I also moved towards that uh, area. And this person was overpowered by many members who were in that area. But he pulled out a canister which started emanating a an yellow, um, uh, yellow, 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 yellow sort of a gas, some kind of substance. Then, and another yes. person also jumped down from the visitors' gallery at this time, and he also had a canister which was emanating this yellow gas. Hmm. Uh, the only now, in hindsight, I mean, while we all rushed there. In with great bravado, it might not have been the wisest thing to do had this gas been toxic, had it been sarin or anthrax or if anything even flammable. This is a very, very serious breach of uh, security. It raises very serious questions about the efficacy and the robustness of the security protocol in parliament. It also raises and questions. And the response of the security and the watch and watch staff. Yes, it also raises the, the, questions the, 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 on the response how, of the watch and watch perhaps, staff is also very, very slow and sloppy. Yes, it also raises questions on how MPs are also using their letterheads and issuing passes. No, you are, you are, you are, you are actually, no, 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 no. You are, you are, you are missing the point. You are missing the elephant in the room. Please understand. In this case, the pass was issued. By, uh, the, 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 the request for the pass was issued by a BJP MP. I still do not want to do politics. It is by Pratap Sima, as what I am told from the BJP of the Mysore constituency. This is a parliament. Is a house of the people. People must come and visit parliament. When people make request to parliament to, to, to visit parliament, MPs, all MPs, including me, we we give a letter requesting a pass. The pass is not issued by us. The pass, we are only making a request. The pass is issued by the Lok Sabha Secretariat, which will verify the, with the, which will verify the uh, name of the person, the ID, and will give them the pass. After getting a pass, they are physically checked, and there are uh, scanners which have to check them. They are not even allowed to take mobile phones into the uh, parliament. So let's not blame the uh, request for issuing a pass as the main major culprit in this whole case. But yes, maybe MPs can now start um, exercising greater diligence on who they want to make a request to. But the real elephant in the room is the system of security you have in Parliament. The scanning, the frisking and the, and the role of the marshals in the visitors gallery and the response of the marshals and other security staff in the uh, House of Parliament itself.